A lot of damage coming from uh, Kylo's ability and Anakin. Certainly. Uh, very early on. And a lot of consistency uh, on Thrawn and Talzin's side through the mother of Talzin's ability. Um, so also for potential for a lot of damage. So, so our Thrawn Talzin player running looks to be exclusively odds correct uh, from what i see unlike the one that we showed on the stream on thursday morning had a couple of even cards i think tobias has gone 100 percent odd just to make sure that ability witch magic and uh snare a uh, spell of removal oh yes yes that those work 100 percent of the time so not a bad idea and then of course anakin kylo ren a good selection of different lightsabers as we had talked about in our spoiler there as well as plenty of control uh, I uh, don't see Rise Again in his. Close Quarters Assault, though. That's going to show up twice in that deck with all those sticks there. And big play you want to keep an eye on for on Edwin's side is the No Mercy. Yes, uh, two of those in the deck. Yeah, that can be an explosive uh, an explosive amount of damage just coming like <laughs> from nowhere. Yes, unexpected. Uh -huh. uh, looking <coughs> at... The Thrawn Mother Talzin uh, list, it doesn't look like uh, Tobias is running um, the Sith Holocron. Uh, so he will be um, exclusively looking for like uh, weapons like the Heirloom Lightsaber, the Z6 Riot Baton for, for a lot of damage, the uh, Rocket Launcher too. Um, so look out for those. Um, so Thrawn Talzin has a mislead, a Heirloom, a Feel Your Anger. Three steps ahead and a rocket launcher. Probably going to see some of that get mulliganed. On the other side, we've got Ancient Shoto, Binds All Things, Force Illusion, and Maul's Lightsaber. That's a lot oh, of weapon intimidate? choices. Intimidate, yes. Intimidate. Maul, but not his lightsaber. Yeah. All right. Look at that. Between Thomas and me, we will get half the cards right 50% of the time. <laughs> uh, thank you for sticking with us. You're really thinking over what to keep here. He's going to ditch the Feel Your Angler, the three steps ahead, and I think that was the rocket launcher. Keep the Ancient. Heirloom and the other other card there. Was Ancient that Ancient? Lightsaber. Light light mm -hmm. In terms of battlefield, uh, Tobias is running the Ewok Village to uh, remove shields from his opponent. I don't think this will be very useful for either deck. Uh, Not really. We end up playing with... With the Ewok Village. That's more of a tech choice against uh, those really shield-heavy decks. Yes, like the uh, Ray and Ayla decks that, yes. that have been uh, have been very popular over the week. And uh, Edwin's got Rebel War Room. So it's resolve one of your dice. If it has a resource cost, you do not have to pay it. Which can be key when running cards like the uh, Rocket Launcher and the Z6 Riot Baton. Yes, although uh, you got the you got them backwards. Oh, that's right. So it could be useful for... Yeah, I don't, I don't think Tobias hates to see that one yeah, happen. Yeah. He's got some things that will definitely make use of it. Uh, it's definitely going to help resolve the um, Kylo. The Kylo and the Anakin yep, character Anakin. dice, for sure. Anakin's uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. melee sides or you know lightsabers, stuff like that. All right. We'll see the roll-off. Looks like just three for Tobias. And one. And only one. For Edwin. So if you're Tobias, yeah, you can take the other guys because, like we said, you can you can benefit from it and you'll get the shields, and those shields will stick around. You However, pick your own. yeah, your Tobias will split the shields between his two characters because he probably expe expect Edwin to play uh, intimidate mm -hmm. uh, to get r to remove their shields. So Edwin will play it binds all things. That's always a great first turn drop because you're going to get the most value out of it using mm -hmm. it over and over again. We get a crystal ball on Thrawn. The bracket, if you guys are wondering to see the overall thing, that should be up on the Organized Play Twitter. Looking for confirmation on that. It should be very soon, so check the Twitter for that, and you can see the whole bracket here. All right, so Ancient Lightsaber goes down on Kevin. <clears throat> Activating Thrawn. What's he going to call? Table audio up, please. Zero. Calling zero. So he will look a little bit more. 
at Edwin's hand. Remove the close quarters assault. That's a great one to pick out there. Yeah, it's the, that was his only choice, wasn't now it? Now he knows about yeah. the Shoto and the Force Illusion. Knows there's really no other control in that hand. So Edwin will call blue after rolling Kylo. All right, and reveal a heirloom lightsaber. So he will deal two damage to Mother Talzin. Mother Talzin, the usual first target here because she is the dam damage dealer in this pairing. Uh, you're going to have redeploy weapons assigned to her usually so that when she does go down, Thrawn can try and close the game out. But Thrawn's taking the cash. All right, four resources. <laughs> Very near to uh, Rise very Again, resource, right? Yeah, very resource-hungry <laughs> deck between Rise Again and all the different weapons they want to yes. play. There are typically three costers. Mm -hmm. That was a two sticks and just got bumped there. So it'll go back to the melee damage. So <coughs> three melee damage uh, coming from Edwin, possibly. So far, not so bad. We got a mislead there if he wants to control that, too. We'll probably he's see thinking a hard weapon about it. here coming from Tobias. Before activating Mother Talzin. Oh, mislead. There we go. Yep. Just cut that damage even further. He's still got, is it all in? Heirloom. Heirloom, all in, and, and another heirloom? And another heirloom. It's really hard for my brain to count how many cards are there. <laughs> is that overconfidence in the back? There is overconfidence in the deck, so I think All that's right. what it is. Edwin discards his Force Illusion. To reroll. more damage. I think we're going to see the... Is that overconfidence? One card yes. Hmm. I mean, Tobias knows he's got really no control. So I'm he's going to turn Talzin into four damage no matter what. He can also throw down the Heirloom and probably get full damage on that, too, between Talzin's ability and the two focus on Thrawn. So he can hit for seven here. Right. He will spend three and <coughs> play the Heirloom, heirloom so lightsaber. So he's going to take, uh, take his licks here, I think. Take the three damage and then hit back with the, with the Heirloom. Edwin does not want to discard that Shoto. Uh, it's, a, it's a great He'd card. He'd love to pair that up with the Ancient and start uh, generating those shields. If you keep it in your hand, Thrawn knows <laughs> that you will keep that card. That's fair, although he can claim and play it before no, it I'll is play called. play before. That's, that's right. All he right. discards, though. And he does get damage. It's showing four damage and a resource here. So it doesn't really matter what Talzin rolls at this point. It's going to be mm -hmm. seven damage. No. Yeah, he's just debating. He could reveal the top of Edwin's deck and try and mitigate, but... Did he take a look at his deck? Oh, I don't remember With that. a crystal ball? I, I missed that. He, if he, he did. did, I'm sure. So in that case, he knows the top. Uh, 9TZ, you're asking what's going to be played... There's going to be a lot of games here because we've got best of threes for the top 16, top 8, top 4, and the final table. So potentially, I think, 12 more. All right, so here so we he's go. Gonna so he had not used his crystal ball. Yeah. Hmm. It's got to hurt a little bit. Yeah. But here comes Thrawn with two focus sides. So he's going to have five damage. Yeah. Not the seven that... Uh, that he could have gone to. What you looking for here, Tobias? <laughs> <laughs> ah, so it doesn't look like he crystal balled at all. The chat's saying <coughs> that's gonna gonna sting. Yeah, especially at this level of play. Here comes five damage. All five on Anakin. Anakin's at half health. Talzin is at uh, four health remaining. Yeah. Um, remember, 
Uh, Mother Talzin can stay alive uh, with Witch Magic. Uh, rise again. Force Illusion. Force Illusion, I believe. So it's another heirloom. A three steps ahead. Not any Witch Magic or Rise again in that hand. Yeah, there is a, there's already a Force Illusion in Edwi Edwin's discard pile. So it's only, he has one in his deck. Tobias still should have two. Yes. Ah, he did draw one of them. So that's going to be helpful to keep draw, to keep Talzin alive into the next turn. Mm -hmm. She's got six damage on her now. Oh, from cross card? Yes. All right, so here comes Force Illusion. Yeah, it's one of those cards you got to play early you know, before it is needed to really have any impact there. So hopefully Tobias remembers his crystal ball this time so he knows if he can use it on on uh, Edwin's deck. But it may be moot if enough damage comes out here. But I see a two for one on Kylo Ren. Mm -hmm. Two blanks. going to try and hit on his ability, which would put Talzin within in range of death here. Which is not what you want to see. And Ooh, it's an all Gets in. the all in. Smart play of Tobias keeping all in in his hand here, knowing it's gray, and maybe we'll throw off the, uh, the Kylo call. Smart play. Um, he's going to start get right rolling out there. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, five damage. <laughs> there we go. Now we're talking. Use Talzin's ability to go to seven. Yeah. Let's see what Anakin has to say about that. Looks like Edwin has a doubt in hand. So he could potentially can use his ability, show the top cards, best defense. And go to even more damage. That is more than fatal for Anakin here. Right. He's going to doubt, though. And gains a resource. Gets the resource. Does mean he doesn't have a way to kill uh, Anakin at the yeah, moment. Yeah, short of one damage. He's going to have to play the other heirloom on Thrawn. If you're Tobias here, do you wait until it, to activate Thrawn so you can get the heirloom de uh, redeploying onto your Thrawn? I guess yeah, he has a force think illusion. In a huge hurry. Yeah, yeah. He has the force <laughs> illusion. He also can just has, has the money to pay for heirloom on Thrawn right away if he wants. That's to right. Play the other one. Yeah. Both would be great, but mm -hmm. that also means you've lost Mother Talzin. And he lost his chance to take Anakin out here before Anakin gets a chance to do damage. And it's Anakin special. It can either give shields or do damage depending on the kind of card you discard. So there's a neutral card in there. Two neutral cards, but Enrage is a villain card and can do the damage to seal the deal if needed. Still going to take two actions to kill Mother Talzin by my count, though. Mm -hmm. Let's see. So, yeah, he's passing to try and get the redeploy. I'm assuming. Otherwise, why wait? One health remaining on Mother Talzin here. He's got uh, Force Illusion 2. Um, he's going to swing for two. two. Force Illusion Pop the will force block illusion. that with the best defense and a feel your anger. Ideally, um, if you're Edwin, you want to discard and reroll to try to get more damage. Um, if you reroll uh, the Kylos or the Anakin's uh, two melee for one resource, you can claim to and resolve one of those dice with the Rebel War Room and that we kill the um, the Mother Talzin, but we're not there yet. Like. So he did play the other heirloom, overwrote the Crystal Ball, which didn't do a whole lot there other than give a resource. He's now got the damage to kill mm -hmm. Talzin, and I don't think that Tobias has an answer for that. Yeah, that's his only chance here. 
Ooh. So the plus three, sh plus two? Plus two. Showing the cross card, but no base. No. And one card left in hand. This is get last card chance to get the damage and take Hall's and out this turn. Yeah. All right, he and that's it. at least three <coughs> damage. That two base sides. And with just a three steps ahead and an all in, I don't see how Tobias stops that. So he's going to get his redeploy. That's the good news. Uh huh. Yeah, ideally, you want to activate Throne early and to get a, get a card out of your opponent's hand mm -hmm. before anything happens. But um, that's. Yeah, he had to try and get the mileage out of Talzin before she went down, yes. and he was able to do There's the damage so with her. So much damage on her from round one. It's would have been a dead Anakin if not for that uh, doubt. Mm -hmm. Guess what? Thrawn is coming down now. And that's He's four mad. damage. <laughs> yes. Four damage. That's Disrupt in two resources. All right, so Edwin res resolve a shield. So, no other problem for um, Tobias here is that while Witch Magic will still work, you don't have Rise Again, and your best defense, you know, is only going to really benefit you if you're if you're taking, you know, three value dice out. That's right. So I think you've got to reroll and look for more damage here. Yep. Hope for a focus on Thrawn or the three side on Heirloom. That's not enough. You've got a three steps ahead. It's All not right. a bad card, but so I don't know that without Talzin, he can really make the bang for his buck out of it. So Anakin is defeated. That's two less die to uh, to work with for Edwin. Takes one shield and goes into the next round here. Yeah. So two heirloom lightsabers on Thrawn, cross guard and ancient on Kylo Ren, which means he has an effective 14 health there. And in Edwin's hand, there's two intimidates. So those are not Got great cards. Dead card force in this wave, a dead rise again. Another three steps ahead. I bet he was wishing he'd re-rolled with that one now. <laughs> That's a lot uh, of cards that are not going to help him in this situation. I know. Let's see. Edwin will play free force illusion. So his uh, effective health pool just went up to something like sixteen or seventeen. Youch. <laughs> Thrawn definitely has some damage output, but he's also only got two dice that do damage that need to be controlled. Mm -hmm. So, not that bad. So he can generate resources, uh, but he won't <coughs> be able to play he's that got, rise again. Yeah, he's got nothing to spend them on. Yeah. I think he wants to be looking for those uh, heavy, high-costed weapons. Like a rocket launcher or... Z6 would be yeah. Z6 would, would, be, be, fantastic would be fantastic. Right fantastic. Now. Absolutely. That's this deck. This Thrawn Talzin archetype works great when you can use all your tricks to keep Talzin alive. Mm -hmm. yes. Rise again, witch magic, best defense, all those things. And really, Tobias has gotten to use none of those. Mm -hmm. Talzin's now dead, and he's trying to close it out here with just the Grand Admiral himself. So three steps ahead played. So he'll have three extra actions? Yep, so his first action to activate. Two Gets blanks. A lot of money and no damage. Yeah. Yow. Does get to call and remove a card from uh, Edwin's hand. Yeah, not a great hand in I mean, overconfidence, over a good card to get rid of. Yeah. Especially if the other cards are to intimidates. Yeah, this this late in the game binds all things. Not really going to get your value. That's out. right. Second action. So you have to discard and re-roll here. Yep. I can't help but think I would re-roll Thrawn too, just because he's got that focus and yeah, give yeah, you the yeah. damage. That I agree. 
It's only one damage showing. What is he holding on to the, all that money for? That's my question. Because he got one shield and one damage out of that. He's got a tactical mastery and a three steps ahead. What a terrible hand. Oh, uh, yeah. Two three steps ahead, speed. tactical mastery, and two dead cards. All the speed, but not a, none of the damage. So he can go nowhere fast. <laughs> Indeed. Thrawn, a master of physical combat as well as strategic, but it seems that he has forgotten some of his lessons here. All right, so Catalo is activated. So he's got a 50. F Actually, they're both red here. <laughs> um, can call blue. Yeah. So he will I call blue. I think a safe bet, but not going to pay off. No, because here comes the three steps ahead. Because who expected another three steps ahead? I'll take a shield. Oh, <laughs> Force <laughs> Edwin to intimidate. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Tobias knew that was... You know, he did know that card was in the hand. Not my best moment. <laughs> Tobias there calling himself out. Not his best moment there on the forgetting about the Intimidate. <coughs> Got a lot of cash. Mm -hmm. Only one showing for uh, Edwin at the moment. Looks like two damage now. Uh, Three, yeah, four. So total of four. Four resource. If you're a Thrawn, you just claim here, One? I believe. Yeah, you sh could have just claimed to resolve that die. To resolve it, yeah. I mean, no need to because you can then claim before he gets the resource. I'll pay one swing for four. Two? Four? So Thrawn at seven health remaining. Seven health, while Kylo is comfortably sitting at 11 health remaining with a force illusion. And an ancient lightsaber. It's worse than that. Simmer. Yeah. I don't see a lot of chance for Thrawn to do the damage here. He's He has two turns or three turns at max damage from killing Anakin here. Mm hmm. Yeah, Zach Bunn, if people are asking from Team Covenant, did not make the cut here for Destiny. We did stream one of his games with Han Ray on Thursday. He won that one, but did not make it into the top cut here. They're passing. He's now got tons of cash. Those nifty gold resource tokens. And the Z6 comes out, but I feel like it's too little too late. Edwin's got uh, another Intimidate. No, that's uh, No Mercy. No Um, How hard was that? If it's not a no mercy, it's, it's a not. decisive blow. Yes, that's the one. That's the one that lets you remove all the dice, right? Yeah, you uh, you deal, you resolve one of your dice showing melee damage. Mm -hmm. and then you remove all character and upgrade dice uh, from the character you just dealt damage to. Yes, another cross card lightsaber too. So he's gonna, is he gonna get? Uh, Okay, yeah, free damage. Yeah, free damage, why not? Uh, Four Thrawn. remaining on Thrawn. Thrawn finally has his riot, riot baton. What if you threw a riot and no one showed up? Yep. All right, tactical mastery. So he's going to go for a big hit here. All right. But without the consistency of Talzin, there's no guarantees. It's not bad. It's not bad. I think that's five damage. Oh, is that Edwin just saying good luck on the reroll? No, I think he said I'm. Oh, will not. Oh, re not going to reroll with the, with the Z6's ability. Mm -hmm. Got one more action here. He does have a three steps ahead. Second action result melee. Okay. But not going to use it. So the force illusion. We'll take three of that damage away. Yep. Force Illusion cost him a No Mercy and something else. A uh, Shoto? Yeah, it looks like it. And it's something else that we can't see. 
And here comes Kylo's rollout. Just two damage. So here's the Kylo's ability. He does get the hit, does get the hit. So just two remaining, and that mm -hmm. uh, I means Edwin's showing lethal here. So gonna have to mislead to stay in the game. Edwin's got tactical mastery and three steps ahead. Neither of which are gonna help him remove any further damage dice. And we have four damage now. Oh, uh, Tobias also yeah. forgot Thrawn's uh, ability yeah. this this uh, this activation. So he's just going to scoop and go to game two here. He knows this is not a fight he can win. You want to yeah. save time. So if you do win this next one, you go into the third game and can get that whole thing over with. <coughs> yeah, it's uh, best of three. So yes. So hopefully to Tobias, you know. You know, gets a little bit of experience from the, the misplays there with mm -hmm. the forgetting a couple, couple of key abilities and can capitalize on that going into game two. Yes. Because Thrawn Talzin is definitely a, a list that can stand up here. Uh, he's just got to get, he's got to keep Talzin alive. Yes. And you've seen a lot of your opponent's deck at this point, so you know. They've seen the deck list too. Yes. But you sometimes seen seeing it in play yeah. Absolutely. Uh, also helps. And so. You know, you might know what they're hoping to have in their opening hand. So it makes Thrawn a little more decisive uh, going into the second match. <laughs> Thrawn's ability will be key here if Tobias wants to um, yes. come back into this game. Yeah, you're going to only get more mileage out of it as you see what cards are most important to Edwin's strategy here and then start to spe specifically target those cards. Uh, with your Thrawn. It does look to be one of those nifty spot gloss Thrawns from uh, regionals, though. I think as Thomas pointed out earlier, although I don't think we were live, Anakin, the only character from Rivals, making our top 16 cut here. And I don't even know how much we saw of Ketsu Lobot or the Jawa, um, even in the in Swiss rounds. In, in day one, I believe there was a gentleman playing Jawa uh, first order. Stormtrooper and a um, Kylo Ren. So Jawa saw play at Worlds, which is which is great. Uh, there was also um, a gentleman running uh, five droids, but unfortunately five battle droids. Yes, nice. five battle droids. Uh, unfortunately, those decks didn't make it uh, to day two and to. Well, I hope that guy at least picked up the set of five battle droid alt arts that all make a nice tableau and laid out next to each other. Mm -hmm. You'll see at Worlds, I mean, a huge variety of decks are represented, although a lot of them will get sorted out pretty quickly in Swiss. You'll see that in X-Wing, Imperial Assault, all of the games... Because for some people, Worlds is all about the camaraderie, the meeting different players, playing against different players from all around the world. Uh, not as much as the hardcore win-at-all-costs attitude. Now, nothing wrong with that, but there's a lot of casual players who enjoy getting to come to Worlds, play all the side events, yes. and have a good time. Yes. And the people you'll meet at Worlds, you know, people will make friends here that they'll have the rest of their lives. I know I love getting to see the, the guys that I meet at Worlds and Gen Con every year. And I only see these people a couple times a year, but they are. You awesome can hear the cheers in the background. The yeah, yeah. Probably have our, some of our other top sixteen games uh, making some headway there. Mm -hmm. So we'll watch the initial draw here and see what these guys. Well, actually, the mulligan here, and see what they end up with. So force illusion, Maul's lightsaber, and a lightsaber pull to go with the ancient. And whatever else Edwin had, and then Crystal Ball, another Force Illusion. A witch, witch magic. magic. And I think that's a DH-17 there. So a nice one-cost weapon and a Crystal Ball. Can toss that out first turn, and it's going to be Rebel War Room again. Very interesting uh, battlefield. Yeah, not what it's 
very commonly in our top lists here. No, and it's it's good all around, uh, especially for for this deck. But um, can be it can help you do all kinds of things. All right, so. Edwin Chen won game one here, if you're just tuning in. So the Kylo and Anakin player is up 1-0. This is game two in the best of three. <coughs> so Edwin will play an Ancient Lightsaber on Kylo, spending only one resource after uh, playing the It Binds All Things. And Thrawn, with a DH-17 Blaster Pistol, will activate... It's a lot of focus. Zero. So go for the zero coster here, and uh, it's going to be lightsaber pull is the only option. But he knows about Force Illusion and Maul's lightsaber, which, especially if Maul's lightsaber doesn't get played this turn, great thing to target with Thrawn next turn if you want. Yeah, yeah, that's a, a card you don't want to see on the board mm -mm. if you're Tobias. It's a very scary weapon. Not a lot of damage uh, showing right now. Edwin called blue and revealed yet another DH-17, so no damage for him. All right. It's Force Illusion. It's coming down on the Mother of Talzin. Yeah, he doesn't want to lose her early like he did last no. game. That is what decided it in Edwin's favor this last time around. That's a great Anakin roll. Yeah. Just four damage, no cost, it looks like. With the plus three on the Ancient Lightsaber right now, that's yeah. uh, seven, that's seven damage. I don't remember if Tobias has any good options there. It doesn't look like it. Now, the Force Illusion can take five of those damage, but man, you're going to risk losing a lot of good cards. Looks like Tobias. Going to the plus two on focus the, to the plus two and the two resources. To ideally, so he wants to pay for Witch six. Magic to uh, offset some of this incoming damage. I think, or be able Wait to a play. Minute. Why did he just reroll? Does he not have the resources to resolve all, all that damage? I didn't think those. Were, I yeah. couldn't see the. Yeah, they had the resource cost on on them. Okay, I thought they were the non -resource, yeah, yeah. resource cost side. Sorry, folks. So uh, now that's a base two damage on Kylo, though. Yeah, so that's uh, five and damage. And base two on Anakin. That he can resolve without a resource by claiming the Rebel War Room. There's no resource. Yeah, there's a resource. Is there? Man, I cannot see that at all. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that little yellow dot. Yeah, it's right where the, the lightsaber crossed there. Mm -hmm. So yeah, he can do the damage now. But you will see most of it gets soaked by Force Illusion, most likely. All right, so he's going to choose to target Thrawn with that five damage. Uh, Mike, Gem is in the top 16. Yes, uh, and he, I believe, is number one uh, coming in through the top 16. So with a record of nine Ooh, and So 0. the five went on Thrawn. He's going to go ahead and Witch Magic Thrawn. This should hit for all three healing. Because they are all odd in that deck. So. What do you think of that targeting decision to go for Thrawn? It's Is this difficult. To, just to stop the Rise Again play or, or what here? It's difficult. Uh, maybe he realizes that he's not going to be able to, to do a lot of damage to Mother Talzin uh, because she has a shield, because she has a Force Illusion on her. So targeting Thrawn, being able to remove him from the game uh, early <coughs> could be could be the best decision here. I mean, at, at one point, he's going to have to go and, <laughs> and target sure. Mother Talzin, but... Yeah, I agree with going for Talzin now. Yeah. Because she's still the squishier target, and you're going to want to get rid of that force illusion at some point. Make him use it against a smaller thing, you know, not some plus three modifier with a base. We are, Matt, we are airing one of the best of three pairings from each round, from top 16, top eight, top four, and of course the final table. So you'll see 
an increasing slice of the pie as we whittle down the field. Mm -hmm. But we are doing nothing but Star Wars Destiny here through the end of the day. Another DH-17 comes out, and Thrawn is now dual-wielding pistols. We'll go into round two. Ah, looks like we do have our first top 16 update. Looks like Jack Brumel has been defeated by Joe Colon. All right. So to Joe. Joe advancing to the top eight. He will play either Luke Magnuson or Brendan Devitt. As we're going into round two here, uh, taking a look at our at Edwin's hand, it looks like Maul's lightsaber is still in his hand with a close quarters assault. Looks like two Maul's lightsabers. Oh, wow. Uh, Shoto lightsaber, maybe? Oh, no, it's the second uh, Maul's lightsaber. So he will play a Maul's lightsaber. Well, there's only lightsaber. one in his deck. That is a Shoto. It is, it is a Shoto. It looks... That little slice of it looks yes. almost exactly and like he's, Maul's. Again, he's sitting on two Good eye Intimidates. Thomas. Intimidates, but not a lot of shields on the other side, so... No, no, not er, super not useful this matchup. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Three damage off the, off the uh, top. All right, and he's going to call zero. And I feel like Close Quarters Assault is the pick there. Yes, Two absolutely. Intimidates and a Shuttle Lightsaber, all he has left. No control to stop whatever Tobias can serve up here. I'm surprised still about the resurgence of Close Quarters Assault this, this uh, tournament, but it's a great card. I mean... There's been a lot of discussion on it on the podcast and the blogs and things because so many of these decks like this here, Boba 7th, uh, the Padwan's deck, they can get a lot of mileage out of it and just discard a whole hand. Yeah, out of nowhere it can change the tide. It's true. Ah, he's switching targets again back to Thrawn. Got to feel like if I am Tobias here, I am perfectly happy to let that keep happening. Bias is going to be able to chain focuses into max damage here, too. So what do you do here if you are Tobias? I just focus to uh, a two damage. Focus to a two focus on Thrawn. Mm. Then you resolve both Thrawn's focuses for, what is that, eight damage? Yeah. And you punch Kylo out. You force the heal and then leave Kylo at your mercy next turn. Nailed it. <laughs> it's almost like you've played that deck before. <laughs> <laughs> or similar deck. Yeah. Yeah, my, my deck, uh, my version of that is very, very similar. I put one E11 in place of one of those DH17s just because it's redeploy, and I always feel like, what are the odds of me hitting that too when I don't want to? And of course, I do hit it sometimes. Or, I do, or oftentimes. <laughs> I do like the deck, though. It's got a great toolbox to deal with so many different things you run into. Mm -hmm. And don't, don't be mistaken, Mother Telzin has only nine health points. Yes. But she sticks around if she can. Yes. You get, you get your best defense. You get your witch magics and your rise again off, and she can take forever to go down. So Anna can still yet to roll in. Ah, disrupt there. You're a smart man. <laughs> <laughs> Tobias <laughs> just, just told Edwin, you're a smart man, yes. Yes. I like it. I like it. Great banter. That kind of cagey play is what, may, you know, what gets you to top 16 at Worlds. <laughs> Jack is out. All right, so Thrawn will focus here to a plus two, a two, and another two damage. Mm -hmm. He knows, if he remembers correctly, Edwin has no control. So that eight is going through, Yeah, which means he has to heal here or lose Kylo Ren. And forcing that heal removes the Ancient Lightsaber die also from the pool. Yes. So yeah, it should be 10 on Kylo Ren here. Only two remaining. 
he's in a tight spot for next turn. Mm -hmm. So Tobias uh, is really, really coming up, coming out strong in this uh, second Edwin game. Doesn't have the cash for uh, Maul's lightsaber power action errata mm. in action already. Mm -hmm. So he doesn't have the cash to get that out twice. But just in case, force illusion from Tobias. Yep. Look at that. There's already five damage showing on Edwin's side. He's going to resolve four of it, it looks like. So Joe Colon, who did defeat Jack Brumel, he is running Yoda, Ezra, and a rookie pilot. With a looks like some vehicles and some upgrades, actually. So kind of a, a mix. Hmm. I like it. Not, not quite... It's a foot in both camps. Not quite the uh, the five <coughs> die hero vehicle list that that you've seen around, but mm -hmm. apparently it's doing great. So hope to see that on the stream at some point today. All right, he's looking for the the bigger numbers there on Maul's oh, lightsaber, but unfortunately ooh, not what he wanted to see there. Gets one you know, last he reroll. Pitches the Shoto and for a blank again. All right, so he's going to resolve that last one so damage. He gave up the two damage there, and that was a bummer. Yeah, sometimes, you know, you're lagging behind. You want that very risky, aggressive play to happen to get back in the game. Uh, and we'll start the round three, I believe. Of yeah, Chad pointing game. out a, a little kind of a misplay there for Tobias and that he could have done six damage for free. Kept the resource to play, feel your anger, and remove some of uh, Edwin's dice. And then use the claim ability to resolve that last two at no cost. Mm -hmm. You also could have put eight into Anakin and left Anakin very close to being eliminated and maybe get Maul's lightsaber off the table. I can see an argument for, for both. Yeah. Because you did force the heal and you got rid of Ancient Lightsaber. Yeah, there's one less one less die in the pool. Uh, Kylo's ability is still doing damage every round, possibly. So, yep. yeah, And remember, sometimes when these guys make things that seem like uh, suboptimal plays, they've played a ridiculous amount of Destiny to this point. You know, Tobias has flown what, a third of the way around the world to get here. It is exhausting in more ways than one to be in their shoes. So... Mm -hmm. Their mental state, maybe not as fresh as someone sitting at home. Ooh, get rid of that no mercy. Oh, wow. That was the also that was kind card of Edwin was counting on, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, Edwin's way to just take somebody off the board here. And now it is gone. So great call here from Tobias. No mercy, kind of a favorite in the... Uh, Villain? Earlier oh. villain metas, you know, yeah. blue metas. But you can discard any number of blue cards from your hand. Resolve one of your dice showing melee damage or range damage. I guess any damage. Increasing its value by one for each card discarded. So could have easily picked off Mother Tall's in there mm -hmm. with even a, you know, a one or two melee. And uh, I know I've, I've seen around worlds uh, Kylo Ren and Mother Tall's index being played and relying heavily on that explosive no yes. mercy play. Um, so it looks like Edwin missed on the Kylo call. Did not hear him over the crowd, but Talzin rolling in to not much. So what do you change here? <sighs> All right. If it was me, it's the Thrawn focus. Uh huh. If it was, <laughs> if it was me playing, I would, of course, uh, <laughs> change the Talzin die to a two damage. <laughs> But oh, he's going to cash. But I've learned my lesson, so oh. All right. And then Tactical Mastery resolves the three damage to take Kylo off the board. So is he looking for a cash f to possibly um, heal Talzin? Yeah, I can't see what he's got there on those bottom two cards. He's taking the shield, you know, to shut off any possible rolling in of Maul's lightsaber. I can see that.
I think. Um, using Mother Talzin's ability to focus Thrones to a two focus side is probably a better play, especially if you're sitting on all in. So you're able to resolve all that all those dies at once. Yeah, I'm interested to see what he does with all his cash. Yeah. He's got a plan for it, I'm sure. And yeah, it does look like there is a... It's either Snare or Rise Again. I think it's a Snare. That's a three-cost card, so you can exhaust an opponent's character as long as you have a opponent or a character exhausted as well. He is loath to show us that last card. <laughs> Like it's so a yeah. modifier on uh, malls, but Tobias also has some removal options if need be. And there you go. You remove the, the Anakins and the chance of getting base damage, other than a what, a two? I feel like removing. Yeah, I just removed yeah. yeah, he'll remove the Anakin die. Um, yeah, the Maul's lightsaber has <coughs> very scary sides. However, but that one's only got the one card I think, yeah. to reroll with. Without any uh, base damage side next to it, it's it loses a lot of its potential. Yeah, it's snare there. So I think he's setting up a snare for next turn, unless the first thing that Edwin does is activate Anakin. If he can snare him next turn, that's going to be the game. Man, going to into nab, uh, next round. Yeah, he discarded with what card was that? I can't see his discard pile up here. So, are we going to get the snare off? Was it a close quarters assault? Mm, very well could be. With the I just can't see it. With the Maul's lightsaber showing. Oh, looks like our second top 16 update. Brendan DeVitt has defeated Luke Magnuson. So, Joe is going to face off against Brendan next round. Brendan running Sabine and Ezra. Luke Magnuson was running Obi-Wan and Maz, no longer a contender. And good luck to uh, Brendan uh, in his next game. Was he checking the discard pile? Yeah, so it was close towards assault. Mm -hmm. so that's a real big hint. Right. Tactical into a snare. Yeah. Boom. There we go. Do you have to have an exhausted character? To please there. Yeah, yeah, he's just. Yeah, he his yeah, tactical he first action is activate, then snare. Yeah, he needs. Yeah, at this level of play, you need to play the, these in order. I mean. So there you go. If you did not hear Nick Nelson weigh in, uh, the snare was an illegal play because he did not. He got a little overzealous there, tactile right in the snare. He needed a tactile activate Thrawn, snare. So he still has to play a card, essentially. And he just, unfortunately, telegraphed his big move there to Edwin. Yeah. That is a real tough mistake. Yeah. He doesn't lose the runny. He doesn't lose the snare. But... I thought that now I'm done. But it's the... Uh, yeah, it's the... You tried to play the snare, but the snare was an illegal uh, card. So I know I'm allowed... Okay, so now... So instead of playing the snare, okay, you okay, played okay. this card. Yeah, I have to play one, and then I'm allowed to. And back. then you have another action. Sure. So Tobias still has one more action remaining from Tactical Mastery. The first action was play a card. Couldn't play snare. Instead played Z6 right baton on Talzin. He will now activate Talzin. That would be second action. But, yep, kind of telegraphing his play there and losing out on a great chance to cripple Edwin for a turn. Yeah, um... 
Yeah, he did not That's activate tough. Thrawn. He said tactical mastery and then threw down snare. He, there was no indication of an activation there before snare was attempted to be played. So I, I feel like that's a fair call by uh, Nicholas. Not overly penalizing um, Tobias. Tobias for the, the play he couldn't do. But at this level, you, you've you got to take all these steps yes. necessary. You have to be three steps ahead, but you can't forget <laughs> yeah. any of those steps. You'd be three steps ahead, but take all the steps. Yes. Um, yeah, as, as soon as you commit to playing a card... And it's an illegal move. That's your action. Is That's your action. So you card. still have to play a card for those of you who missed that specific rules, uh, rule point. He was forced to play a card as his action there because he had committed to playing a card by trying to play Snare. Snare was an illegal card, couldn't be played. His first action is still play a card. Look at that. A lot of damage showing on, on Edwin's side here. Mm-hmm. Man. It's not, not typically uh, you know, spelled out when you're playing a game. You don't usually say, I'm going to play a card, and then say whatever. You mm -hmm. just say playing the card. But. Yeah, Nick Nelson is kind of a Destiny Rules guru, so. Yeah, not sure, uh, whoa, Jason, why you think that Tact Mastery requires you to activate a character. It literally just says spot a reddit character to take up to two additional actions. Nothing about having to activate. So uh, Nick got that one right, as far as I know. You're thinking of hit and run, I believe. And that mistake got Talzin killed. Yeah. But Tobias by no means out of this. Absolutely not. He can still roll in Thrawn with that Riot Baton. Still has a Force Illusion. Uh, that's a lot of... Got to be a heartbreaker for, t for Tobias. And, and that's the kind of thing that can yeah. put you on tilt because that was absolutely his game with that snare. Yeah, a whole yeah. turn to just unload on Anakin. Yeah. And uh, instead, he loses Talzin. We hadn't seen the snare uh, during the first game, so Edwin might not have even not considered have been that. thinking about it. Yeah. Yeah, hit and run and partnership both require the activation of the character to start that chain off. But tactical mastery and three steps ahead are just additional actions. <coughs> but at this level, you really need to be 100% on your game, and even a little mix-up like that can mm -hmm. be a death sentence. But, like we said, Tobias not out of this yet. I don't think so. Absolutely not. You've got seven health remaining on uh, Anakin. And seven? Yeah. Oh, no. Uh, yeah. Or eight on Thrawn? What's his life S total? Nine on Thrawn, because he's a 12 health. Oh, he's a 12 health. Yeah. That's why he's so great to use uh, best defense on. Mm -hmm. He's got the health pool to soak it. Watch me be wrong now, but... No, he's 12. He needs this to hit big, though. What's your max damage here? Is it just five? You've only got two damage dealing cards out. He doesn't have the cash to play anything else that's going to hurt, nor does he have it in hand. He's got a now useless snare. Yeah. Because I think he's played both his tactile masteries and both his three steps ahead, so no more action chaining into a snare, even if he does get the money for it. Yeah, playing snare with only one character uh, in play is, is not ideal. Well, but you don't have to. You don't have to exhaust your character. Your character it needs to be. Yeah, exhausted. it needs to be exhausted. Yeah. Yeah. So you can still activate and then snare. But by that point. But but. Uh, Anakin would have also activated. Edwin, yeah, Edwin knows this is a possibility now. So there's a two focus showing on a Thrawn die. So some potential for uh, some more damage. Uh, Although, can't really focus. All right, let's see. Oh, Oof. Yeah, and doubt is, is doubt? Gonna, yeah. That, that will remove the right baton. damage output this turn. Yeah. He can still kill on the next turn if he gets the the two ranged off here. Oh, but he's going for shield to stop the reroll in of the... Uh, the the no, he's going for damage. Lightsaber? No. I'll be healing for one. Oh, that's just rough. Yeah. 
That doesn't even put him in lethal next turn with a perfect roll. He's going to need an upgrade out there, too. Edwin will pitch and rage to re-roll. And if you're Tobias here, you have to forget about that play and just refocus on the game. That's the, that's the hard part here. So he will take two resources. He's going to need that upgrade next turn, so I think he's just taking money to prepare. So we'll go into next round. Next round, uh, Anakin not within lethal, even with a perfect roll of Thrawn uh, with what he's got right now. He needs an upgrade, and I don't see an upgrade in his hand. He's got a witch magic. I, yeah, I saw the witch magic, uh, and he kept the uh, snare. Yep. Yeah, I mean, I don't know that uh, Edwin's going to let him get that played, but... He'll go for it, maybe. He's counting the cards in his deck. Are you activating or I'm activating. Right, and then see that roll. So, so, yeah, you guys who are still debating that card, uh, if it said play only if you spotted a character and you couldn't spot, then you cannot play that card. Electroshock, you can play the card. If you can't spot a yellow character, it's not going to do anything. I believe that's how that would work. I am not a Destiny judge. Nick is, Nick is, and he's out there judging. So I'm just here to commentate and try and help you guys understand what's going on. A lot of discard pile checking as he makes these Thrawn calls. Yeah. Decks dwindle, dwindle down. Options are scarce. So what do you call here? He's going to have a full health thrown with that witch magic, so he, he's not out of this. Uh, the reason he has to still play a card is because he has declared that he's going to play a card as that first action from Tactical Mastery. So, got to play a card. That's a step that is not ever really spelled out when you're playing. If I say I'm playing Electroshock, I don't say I'm playing a card. That card will be Electroshock. I say I'm playing Electroshock. Mm -hmm. But it is effectively the same thing. Should I roll that one then? Um, <coughs> you guys didn't read beforehand. Um, so it's up to you if you feel like Again, I don't know the, the answer to what if he didn't have a card to play. Okay, so That's a thing for the judges, which I am not one. Right and all go in. For all in and go for max damage there. He'll do five. To resolve the focus first. Or will he go for four and money? It's probably better. Or shields. One focus left. I don't see how you can do this without without uh, the two range damage. Mm -hmm. You've got to put uh, Anakin at a point where you can kill him next turn. Taking two, paying one, taking two. So he'll deal two damage here. So seven damage on uh, yeah, exactly. Anakin is where two. we'll end up. Yeah. No dice left for Tobias here. He's going to Witch Magic here to heal before the end of the round, I'm thinking, and go in next turn and try and go for the kill. We're down to 30, just about 35 minutes left in the... In the round. In the round. Or in the, yeah. Yeah, you can see it's... The tension at the table is, <coughs> is definitely there. 
Edwin is grab was grabbing his his head. <laughs> yeah. All right, witch magic comes down. So should heal for three. Three steps ahead. Three steps ahead. Oh, still got one left. Rocket launcher. So the snare play is not dead if he can get that three steps ahead, but he's going to need six resources for it. So ten health remaining on Thrawn. Not going to be able to be knocked out this turn. Tough decisions. I feel like Tobias still has a great chance here. Absolutely. Especially if he draws that uh, that three steps ahead, he can just play it, oh. activate, and go for the kill. Anakin rolls four damage here. Still not enough to drop in this turn. No, and that force illusion is still on mm -hmm. Thrawn. But you can't force illusion if you want three steps ahead. That's right. It's gone if you do. That's right. It's sitting on top of your deck. <coughs> mm. That gets spicy. Ho, ho, ho. Six more. So six. And now look at that. Throne is at two health left. He's at two health left, but he's going to have... Three steps ahead. Five resources. Mm -hmm. Three steps ahead. Roll in. If you get damage or focus, you win. And you can roll in the Raya Baton. You can re-roll it if you need to. If you need to. So he's going to discard. Make sure he gets that. I think you have, uh, think you have a good chance here, Tobias, if you have that three steps ahead and you can get the damage off. No chance, no window for him to heal. Ooh, and takes one more from cross guard. So yeah, two health remaining. Mm -hmm. And there we go. Three steps ahead. Yep. Three damage on that right baton ends this. Or a focus. <coughs> of course, but you want to look through the discard Taking his time to here. make sure he declares these abilities in order because he has learned his lesson. Mm hmm. All right. That's five damage. That's it. But that's game. All yep. right, that's game. So, one and one. Tobias pulling that out despite the, uh, the misplay. The, the snare misplay yeah. there. That is going to go to the third game here. When we go to time, we finished a round, and then it's damage dealt. Yeah. If somehow time gets called in the first round, you, we will play through the second round of this game no matter what. Uh, but after the second round, yeah, as soon as time's called, you play to the end of the first Yeah, so if you're not hearing here, they are down to just under the normal time limit, so they're going to shuffle up and get back to playing very quickly. Um, if time does come up during the game, though, it's going to be damage dealt. That is the tiebreaker. <coughs> yeah, and Tobias is making sure he understands all the rules before getting into this. Yes, this third round. Uh, these are these are a little warned. bit of a marathon. Yeah. Uh, do we have any other tops? Oh, hey, we have some top sixteen updates that all happened right. while I wasn't looking. Looks like Johnson Go defeated Nick Obi. And Mike Jem defeated Gilbert Nevels. All right. Ten to so, yeah, we've got four of our top 16 results in so far. And somebody's madly scribbling on a, on a uh, slate right now. <laughs> and we are pausing for the players to have a little bathroom break. So everybody sit tight. And they're going to stop the clock here so nobody is penalized for that. But they've just played... Basically an hour solid of destiny. Yeah, yeah. And you at know, trying to stay hydrated. At high level of <coughs> competition. And also, uh, like we said before, Mother Tells in Thrawn is the kind of deck that requires a lot of mental energy and focus and Yes. And, and uh, as you've seen, like that can be very taxing and sometimes lead to errors. Which yeah. I mean I'm sure Tobias wants to avoid win 
ever possible. Uh, it's yeah, I think it's a great deck, but not something that is forgiving in any way. Mm -hmm. We will continue to bring you guys updates on the top 16 as these various games finish. I would expect more of them to come in soon, if they, especially if they're not going to their third game. Uh, but it looks like you know we already know one of the matchups, which is going to be Joe versus Brendan. So Joe's running a, like we said, kind of hybrid vehicles. Yep, with uh, Elite Yoda, Five Die, uh, Elite Ezra, and Rookie Pilot. And Brendan is running Sabine Wren and Ezra Bridger with all these Sabine Wren tricks that you know and love. Mm -hmm. So the DL44s. Hold out blaster, hidden blaster. Never tell me the odds. Yeah. Running interference, despite the changes to it, uh, still showing up, uh, I would say, fairly regularly. Mm -hmm. The top 16 is also being updated on the FFGOP Twitter, which is at FFGOP. So if you're trying to follow along, I recommend having that open in another window. <coughs> I have very, very interesting games uh, coming ahead. Somebody is also saying that Mads has won his game, but I don't, I haven't heard that yet from the people here. But we are also buried in the very back of the fine FFG Game Center here in Roseville, Minnesota. All right, Tobias is back, and we're going to go right into game three. The clock rolling again, 30 minutes on the clock. Five minutes less than the normal Destiny time limit. It's not too bad. No. You can get a game done in that. Yeah. We can do two over a lunch. <laughs> of course, the stakes are significantly lower in, That's that, <laughs> in that case. <laughs> Indeed. <coughs> All right. Get the initial draws here. Ancient. That's always good to have. Close quarters assault. Decisive blow and then over, uh, overconfidence, right? Mm-hmm. And on the other side, we've got Null In, Force Illusion, Three Steps Ahead, Mislead. I'm pitching three. And I'll tell you, I can't tell, see what that other one is. All In? Is it, be, is it Best Defense? You know what's crazy? I've seen Thrawn Tal's In played, what, this is our fourth game on the stream from the tournament odds, Witch Magic. Still have yet to see, I think, only one Best Defense go off. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's running one. He only has one uh, in his deck, Tobias does. Um, Ooh, did he pitch Ancient? I see two cards kept there for Edwin. Tobias keeping three. All right. He's got a It Binds All Things. And enrage and intimidate in Edwin's hand. <coughs> <laughs> Appropriately villainous. Yeah. But at least it forced you to roll out every time. So, yeah, yeah. so do you, is there still an ancient in that hand for Edwin? I don't see one. Um. Destiny players, if you're on the world stream, just do us a favor and fan those out nice and wide and just yes. hold them up. <laughs> So Rise Again, Tactical Mastery, Crystal Ball, Witch Magic, and something else. So Rise Again, not a card you want to <coughs> see so early going into the game. Not really. Now, not uh, not crazy to pitch that Ancient for Edwin just because maybe he wants the damage output of something like Cross Guard and he can yeah. always overwrite or put the Ancient in later when something's closer to death. Because mm -hmm. while, uh, while Talzin is pretty consistent damage, you know, the odds of her ramping to just kill somebody in that first round or two... That's not so likely, although it can certainly happen. Mm -hmm. Starting off with a cross card. So this time we are on the Ewok village. Yes. So new battlefield's going to make those shields much less valuable. All right, Kylo rolls in. So let's hope uh, Tobias remembers his crystal ball. Yes. It's not a bad roll. Three damage and a shield. We'll call Been blue. pretty consistently calling blue, and I mean, he already played two blue cards there, but yeah. he gets it. That's already three damage on Mother Talzin. And he had a, what, a two and three chance of getting that right anyways. Yeah. So Thrawn will come in. Crystal Ball. Crystal Ball. Tobias, we take my energy. 
So, what? Enrage? I think he called Shields are already worth nothing. Yes. Crystal ball. Oh, not happening. Hey, there we go. Oh. Just in time. All right, so he will reveal, and I did not see what that was. So it doesn't have to reveal. He gets to look. Yeah, so he gets to yeah, look. He doesn't have to show it to um, to Edwin here. Talzin's ability is a reveal. Uh, so force illusioning the two, loses the force wave and an all in. Could be worse. Could be worse. Still has a witch magic in hand and a rise again. So I feel like we could see Talzin sticking around. Yeah, you'll need all the resources you can find to play that rise again. Uh, He's got a uh, rich dad, rich uncle Thrawn here, <laughs> helping to pay for it all. Right, and Anakin shows a two <coughs> melee and a resource. That could be potentially two more damage, possibly more, on Mother Talzin, bringing her to six damage. All right, Witch Mag Magic comes in. There we'll reveal go. the top three cards of his deck, rise again. Over confidence and force wave. Surprise, surprise. So his second rise again is on top of his deck. All right. He really needs to start saving up. Yeah. If he can pay for these, Mother Talzin's never going to go away. And now with a, uh, a force wave in the discard pile, it's a great time to get a rise again off. Mm -hmm. so Edwin will take a resource and prepare for... Overconfidence, maybe? <coughs> He's got just Rise Again and Tactical Mastery left in his hand. Maybe pitch the tactical, looking for the resources? Or do you just roll in? You roll in Tal's in it. Yeah. And go to the money. Ah. Uh, disrupt. Disrupt. Maybe that was the play. Is uh, there a resource cost on Anakin's die? I can't tell. Yes. Okay. Oh, uh, not currently, but not currently. <laughs> Sorry. I'll look the same to me. Yeah. I've got uh, fresh off the presses. Uh, Looks like oh, two blanks. On Mad did defeat Breckenridge. Mads, of course, running Ray Ayla. Breckenridge defeated running Boba and Seventh Sister. It's an interesting play here. It looks like. Um, Tobias um, used Mother Telson's ability to turn the crystal ball into a resource. Okay. Yeah. He, I mean, he needs the money. He, he knows needs he the does. money for for rise again. And wow, re-rolled into perfect max damage on Talzin. Absolutely. So can't complain about that. By discarding his rise again. So he knows he's getting the other one though. He knows he's getting the other one, and there's a force wave and a force illusion yeah, okay. in his discard pile that he can bring back. Yes. Um, and as awesome as two rise against yeah. B, probably knows he cannot pay for that. All right. We're going to round two. Discards to draw four new cards. We see a hidden motive, a doubt, close quarters assault, and was that two doubts? I believe so. Z6 riot baton, tactical mastery. Should have had a rise again in there as well. <coughs> Bright batons? They do that flippy yeah. thing that makes it real hard to tell. Yeah. I could not see. Blue. Right, he's going to call blue here. He's only showing one damage. Smart. He did see some of the cards that were revealed for that witch magic. So he, ooh, there we go. It's red. That's a little tempo hit for Edwin. So do you play at this point you roll you roll in Thrawn to get resources, right? Yeah, and then save Talzin for once you have Force Wave on her. Maybe. Now Force Wave will, if you use the special, require you to assign you know one damage to one of your characters if you are Tobias, but Thrawn with twelve health, he can absorb those, especially being three and two to the opposition. Yeah, that's six damage every round. That's that's a lot.
that's that's all the resources <laughs> you need. <laughs> that seems good. Wow, seems real good. And he's gonna call one, and there's nothing. Just uh, all free cards. Is overconfidence a no, one? No, it's a zero. Overconfidence to Bronda. Yeah, smart. Oh wow, smart. Yep. So he had what? Close quarters assault. Oh, there will be no rising again this round. It looks oh wow. Like. Yeah, at I this can't point, can't help but wonder if that's going to come back to haunt him. Look at that, Nick on the spot with the dice. <coughs> That's why you need a judge at the table. He's trying to put a lot of damage. All right, look at that. You can focus. You no reason not to reroll. Yeah, I think. Yeah, you have to. And then you use Talzin's ability on Thrawn to get. Oh uh, well, mm, I can see why. Because he wants to have that crystal ball. Uh, he wants the resource from Crystal Ball. But he's going to focus even if he doesn't reroll. He's going to go over to Thrawn plus two. Cash. Yeah, that'll let him still rise again. Or, yeah. So it's four or resources. Or a force control card spent on resources, which not great. But, yeah, I think we're going to see the doubt come out. Because he knows he's got to stop that rise again play. It feels bad to uh, to use it on money to doubt a resource die. And because it feels bad doesn't mean it's the bad play, but doubt the right conduct. Yeah, ah. it's the right play. To a blank, pays off. You're saying that because more likely to come up blank. Uh, because Thrawn's got two resources showing over there. Yeah. In any case, yeah. But <laughs> in any for the money. Any case, it'll remove, I don't know, damage or resource or... Sure. Yeah. Yeah, Force Wave is in the discard, folks. It's right there, second card from the bottom. So Rise Again is going to net him both four healing and a Force Wave. So now is a great time to play it. You can see Edwin, this head on his uh, forehead, hand on his forehead, considering head his... Head on his forehand. <laughs> yes, sorry. Um, <coughs> contemplating what to do. Yeah, he's, just, he's trying to stop that rise again any way he can right now. But he's got limited options. Hidden motive? I'm going to hit a motive that die for a resource. Yep. That's a and a focus. Nope. <laughs> Running out of control. <laughs> He's got a close quarters assault in his hand, and uh, what else was it? I mean, if you're Tobias, you take two resources here and, and rise claim again next turn. Nec rise again next turn, and if you claim, you remove those shields from Kylo. I think so. It's not not a bad trade. So the only danger is, can he kill Talzin right here? And uh, can, I mean, Edwin has, or excuse me, Tobias is overconfident, so he needs to not claim quite yet. Because if he can get that two resources, he is... He is set. He's pretty set. Mm -hmm. So he's going to... Uh, Edwin <coughs> is going to discard his last card. Yep. To reroll, and it was a close quarters there assault. We go. That's not the damage he needs to kill... No, no. ...to kill Talzin, so... So you claim now. Tobias is safe. He can claim. And he will rise again first thing up in the uh, next turn. So Talzin will have two damage on her, a Z6 and a Force Wave. Come back. Z, uh, Z6? Z6 and a Force Wave. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Come back for her revenge. Yeah. And... Tobias got two free damage out of that for the battlefield. 
That's right. There's 16 minutes left in the game, 16 and a half. So a rise again. I mean, the, the problem for uh, for Edwin here is that Tobias just has much more healing in his deck. Yeah, that's right. Edwin has no way to get those damage counters off. So once they're there, they are counting against him. Hmm, which force wave would you like? Would you consider taking the force illusion here? Not really. I don't think so. I don't think so. I would take an heirloom, but I don't think he's got one in his discard pile. Uh -huh. But, I mean, you have so many ways to, like, focus to that special side and generate resources for it that you'll be able to get that force wave. Yeah. Edwin doesn't run special going. Rise again. We looked at that. Didn't see it there. Um, I would take force wave because while he doesn't have any money, I mean, Thrawn is, is good at nothing but making money. You know, like that's 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 his cup of tea. So, I wouldn't worry too much about having the cash to resolve Force Wave. And even if you're only getting indirect or the other sides out of that, that's still useful for the tiebreaker. Yeah. And there is the I guess the only source of healing in uh, Edwin's deck, the Ancient Lightsaber. Could be an explosive play from Kylo with the. Uh Rolling Certainly. a lot of damage. Certainly. Right, so what so do we got here? Three damage, just not maybe the exact right kinds he wants. Is this where you focus to the special? Yeah. Yep. I mean, just having that die in your pool. There you go. <laughs> it's it forces your opponent to. To uh, so work around it. Sets out the hidden motive. Yep. Still has a resource that he can resolve to pay for that that special side, and, and still has right a focus. Back to it. Yeah. That puts him well ahead there on the damage race if he can get that special off. He's still got a mislead. He's still got to feel your anger and an overconfidence, I believe. You're see Anakin's activation for no damage, just shield and resources. If you're Tobias here, you're forcing Edwin to put a, lo a lot of cards, a lot of resources to deal with that force wave. Take away some focus from other dice. All right, it's so overconfidence Ooh. again to deal with that special. Look at that. Uh, the, force wave. the force wave is going away. All right. And that, that is why uh, you know, activating Thrawn and targeting those control cards yeah. can be so powerful because you know, without both the hidden motive and the overconfidence, you would have probably gotten that special off. <coughs> we are down to 13 minutes on the clock. See, they're Thrawn rolling out. Like I said, not not a lot of trouble making money. Yeah. So first use Crystal Ball. He calls one, and there's nothing. Mm, but he knows there's a no mercy to watch out for. Uh-huh, and two resources. But with only one, card, one other card in hand, not an issue this turn. It's to watch out for next turn. So he'll take a resource here to guarantee that he can play um, No Mercy at some point, even if he gets disrupted. Do you focus into damage here? Do you focus into resources? Looks like uh, Matei Dragne. Did defeat Hunter Shelburne two to one, so Matei is also going to advance. Matei, Hunter was running Ayla, Rose, and uh, Ezra Bridger. So the that's Hunter. Yeah, so the the pretty common five die vehicles that was eliminated by Matei running Boba Fett Seventh Sister. All right. It's like 
technical mastery was revealed from mm -hmm. um, so Tobias's no hand. Damage. So no damage. Again, uh, Kylo's ability not able to do to do much. Sadly for for Edwin. Really thinking it through. There's not another rise again in that deck. Mm -hmm. There's uh, what? I think he's used both witch magics too, right? I believe so. One on Thrawn early in the game, and one on Mother. He'll focus to a resource. What's he saving up for another three-drop weapon? I mean, he's got all the control in the world over there. If uh, Edwin does yeah. roll. Feel your anger right now. You can mislead. So two damage on Talzin. Five health left. So weirdly tied on damage at the moment. <laughs> Remember Edwin has that um, lightsaber pull in his hand. So he could pull a second inch lightsaber to yeah, try to heal his characters. Again. Or the uh, Maul's lightsaber. So you you want to pull the one from the... Well, either way, you're going to shovel the deck, so it doesn't really matter which one you pull. Yeah. Mislead. So right now, as we just said, they're both at four damage. So if this goes to time, right now we're still looking at a tie game. Uh, now Edwin does take the lead by one. But that's going to swing very quickly back and forth. I mean, one activation of Mother Talzin can do a significant amount of damage to Edwin's team. Absolutely. Lots Just nine consider. minutes left in this round. A lot to consider. All right, so the lightsaber pull pulls the cross guard just to get that one extra yeah. three damage. Yeah. I mean,. I feel like Ancient, especially if you get to roll it once before you have to pop it, does better in terms of the math, but... Oh, and he will not override. He will spend those two resources yeah. to play. So, I mean, Kylo is now a beast. Yeah, yeah, that's a, a lot of damage coming his way. Quite a ruckus. Somebody is losing or winning out there. <laughs> With just over eight minutes left, we've got maybe two more rounds here. Uh, Tobias. You see a best defense in Tobias's hand. Now, that's only going to be worth it if you're saving, you know, four or five, maybe yeah. six damage because of that tiebreaker. Go for the tactical mastery and just knock somebody out. There we go. Yeah, tactical mastery. Two additional actions. So first action, the activation. Oh, does he have a snare? Please tell me he has a snare. Oh. Please tell me he's got the snare. I didn't see. But that would be amazing. Oh, here. No, the it's on top, on top of the, of the deck. deck. Is there only one in the deck? Uh, good question. Uh, there's only one. Yeah, there's only one. Ah, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get me all excited for nothing. <laughs> all right, so he will focus to uh, the three damage for one resource. <coughs> He's also showing the two ah, indirect. Get that snare one turn too late to really make a difference. Exhausting Kylo here would be just a heartbreaker. So it's three damage on. Anakin, Anakin. Putting him now one ahead in the race. Kylo Ren yet to activate, though. A lot of damage potential still. Mm hmm. He's st still sitting on possibly a um, Force Wave special. Yes. 
gonna need Thrawn's focuses to get it though, or just straight rerolls. I mean, best defense is good to have just in the event that uh, that he does roll big numbers. But man, you've really got to be hoping he rolls some blanks for uh, feel your anger. I mean, between Kylo Kylo's dice, uh, dice and and the three upgrades, that's that's a ton of damage possibly coming his way. So, if you can remove five damage. Uh, ah, two indirect. Hmm. Now I know it's you know getting greedy, but I, I gotta wonder if getting the special was worth waiting for. Because you're now you're still only one ahead, and Kylo has yet to activate. Thrawn also yet to activate, but much less damage coming out of Thrawn here. Wow. It's supposed to be two damage uh, coming his way by focusing into the two range damage. Yeah, I mean, Thrawn still hasn't activated. Get his focus out there, you All can right. get four damage out. So now if you're if activating Catlow, you have to call the right color. You do. And Mother Talzin is gone. How many cards in there? Three. Call out red. So he has three cards in hand. He's going to call out one red. red there. There's only, I think, only one, though. All right. I don't remember. Middle one. Pick the middle one, and it's a red card. Ooh. Talzin goes away. Still tied on damage. Yeah. Ah, this is why he's waiting on Thrawn. Mm -hmm. And that's why he didn't try to mess with the uh, yeah. Force Whip special. That makes a lot of sense. Look at that. Kylo, Kylo is showing, so I believe, two damage... Uh, Two damage for a resource. For a resource. One and plus two. And then the special. And then the special Costco. for another two uh, damage. So he can't kill Anakin and win this. He's got to do a bunch of damage to Kylo to be tied. Because killing Anakin will just be ten, and then all the damage on Thrawn will lose him that tiebreaker. Look at that. No mercy. And his hand <laughs> gets discarded through the Thrawn ability. Yep. And he see it's smart. He knew it was there. Yep. And gets the free reroll of the Riot Baton. And the three damage. The three damage. Oh, now Anakin illusion. has a Force Illusion. <laughs> yeah. So you, I, mean, I think you've got to put it on Kylo anyways. Because only one will matter for your tiebreaker if it goes to Anakin without a Force Illusion. Yeah. Yeah. And Thrawn's about to get hit. Pretty hard. Yeah. No money for Edwin, though, so the two is not going to be useful. All right, so best defense comes down. So that's a that's a better trade. That's three damage instead of four. Yeah. Close quarters for one. Close quarters assault. Of course, the discard of one of those two cards. Discard one card. Overconfidence. Keeps fuel your anger. With no blanks showing, that's of limited utility. Do you discard it to re-roll? I mean, what do you need to re-roll here? Yeah. Never mind. Um, yes. Yeah. I think that was the right call. He can heal um, the damage on Kylo, but with the Ancient Lightsaber, but... Yeah. But none of it would go through on the Force Illusion, uh -huh. so... With two minutes left in the round, it's... Uh, now, remember, guys, this is not just, uh, you know, this game not just being decided by the clock because the first game in particular, you know, decided by, by some misplays in there, too, or definitely influenced by some misplays. Absolutely. Um, second game, Tobias pulled it out despite that snare issue. But if he loses on time here, you know, either of these players had the chance to win their two games and not have to worry about this last one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't see the world in which he can pull this off unless they get that extra round and um, Edwin just blanks on everything he rolls. That's 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 true. 
Thrown took a lot of damage this round. Yep. Doesn't even get to keep his shields. Looks like chat is saying that David Hausnacht uh, defeated Andrew Rothermel, so if that is the case, that's another Ray and Ayla jumping into the uh, quarterfinals here. All right. Kylo will activate this is the first action of this new round. And there's some damage. That's that was five not the blanks damage. that uh, Tobias was hoping for. <laughs> right. And he's going to call red. red. So if it's a red card, that's two more damage on Thrawn. And it's blue. It's the snare. Snare just a turn late to uh, really make that make a splash. Tobias will play Force Illusion. So this is the last game of our uh, top 16 still going on. We know our uh, top eight otherwise. It's Mike Jem, David Hausneck, Johnson Go, Mads Utsen, Matej Dragne, Joe Cologne, and Brendan DeVitt. Or DeVitt. So congratulations to all of them and one of these two and to the rest of the top 16 for making it to the top 16 here at World 2018. That's, uh, that's impressive. So that's time. They're going to end it right here. Finish out the round. All that cheering is probably the Destiny multiplayer event that's going on there in the background. I did two more damage here for a resource Oof. showing on Edwin's side. I don't see. Feel your anger. So the plus three will go away. Sure. But he's going to end with only 10 damage dealt. Mm -hmm. And there's at least 14 dealt on Tobias' side. Because that Ancient will heal two of them. That's right. So 18 now. Going to illusion two of those? I have to, have to think. Why not? Mm-hmm. So we're into uh, overtime. Yeah. Yep. Just everybody's watching is clear. They will finish out this round. Oh, Edwin, I think is packed. <laughs> Edwin's got an ancient hand, so he can overwrite one of the cross guards and heal back to undamaged. I don't see a world in which Tobias can pull this one out. Yeah. Yeah. He will force illusion two of the damage away. Oh, the witch magic gone too. Not that he would have had a chance to see that, but yeah. hurts all the same. So let's see here. I believe it's Edwin's turn. We'll take two resources. He's going to leave the cross guard out and just play the. Uh, he'll play it over uh, Anakin there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is this is over. Now we have more than enough time. <laughs> <laughs> They're taking their time, for sure. Yeah, no longer feeling pressured because they know they're not going to another round, so. Might as well be deliberate when you're using Thrawn. Crystal ball there to peak at the top card of the deck. Let's see what we have here. Uh... All right, he will remove the Moss lightsaber. Moss lightsaber. I kind of feel like he's rearranging deck chairs in the Titanic here, but yeah. Sure feels like it. Let's see. Yeah, he's just got to you know re-roll for some damage, heal with the ancient lightsabers. Yeah, and all that healing coming is is 
even with the DH Not 17 out there, he cannot tie this up. Absolutely. Max damage would be five. You're going to heal four, so he'll end up with like 12 damage on you. Now less. So the last die gets removed. Yep, he can still play the other Ancient and heal Anakin as well. Let's see. Because Tobias doesn't know that Edwin has a second lightsaber in hand. As soon as he sees that, he'll know that it's... Yeah, I'm wondering if he's doing calculus, thinking that... Uh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, I can do five to you. No, I just do it on him. Okay, do five to him. So that's uh, 15 in total, and I'm at... 16 and 12. All right. So they yeah. realize the there here. Yeah. Nothing you do. And even with the other uh, yeah. out there, damage. lightsaber. Yeah, but I have to say free because otherwise he overrides. Yeah. He just yeah, yeah. rerolls four times. And yeah. Yes. Yeah. So it yes. comes down to uh, so to buy a 16 <laughs> damage to 15 damage, possibly uh, would have been, less. Would have been 13. Yeah, with uh, the because of the, the ancient. ancient.